Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading and this is for Virgo Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. Cross Watchers, if I described someone and you know that it is not you, then it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Virgo, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who is new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click the link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. So Virgo, if you are into... Twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. Please subscribe to the other channel, Tandestero 111. And if you want to book a personal reading, there's also a link in the description box. If you have some questions with this reading or you have some personal questions, there's a link in the description box as well. I would gladly appreciate if you can click the subscribe button smash the like button and comment down below keep in mind that this is a collective reading so it's already 2022 um let's check what's going to happen virgo virgo this time i can see here is that you may be hurt you may be alone but you're done with the lonely part. You are alone, but not lonely. Um, this time you want to build yourself, either give or ask for a second chance or someone wants to ask um, for you to give them another chance. Um, I can see here an offer, you know. I, for a few numbers of you who's really single, right? You have an apple of your eye here. I can sense that this is, again, if you're really single, you haven't had any connection yet with this person, there will be an offer um, from this person. Kind of, this year, I want to pursue you. For those who have already connection with um, their person and wanted kind of wanted you or you wanted them to pursue you again same thing it, it, it they're gonna do it however this time you're also going to focus more on yourself than giving your all to them I think yeah they, these are past hurts um, it could be just this week last month you know a few months ago you're done with overthinking you're done with crying at night kind of like your your heart and your head got exhausted with too much burden it's it's ex excruciating that's what i'm seeing here more of you feel numb if i may say right to a point where in You don't want to talk to this person or you you're not talking to this person now I think that for a little percentage of you you are now open to um, you're, you're opening doors for new opportunities here um, to meet someone
or you're opening doors not really opened opened let's say if that is a door you let it ajar you know to let this person know that they are still welcome in your life you're waiting kind of like a bait if i may say low key you're waiting for them right you're you're, you're still waiting for them I think that there's just a little slow movement in this uh, with your person, but I can sense that this January, your person's going to give you the strong foundation, the commitment here. Um, the burden is lessened. But there's still a little codependency in here. Virgo, for some reason, this 2020, especially this January, I think that you're leaving all those baggages behind, staying optimistic here. And with those positive energies, I think that you are attracting... Um, abundance wish fulfillment i think that this person is gonna approach you gonna offer you really something really going to offer you something here something that kind of put you in a pedestal gonna give you what you asked for probably way then you ask them or you probably you want to you want them to stop right putting you into a putting you in a competition right i think that you left them this is the hardest part in you that's why you're kind of hurt right you love them dearly you turn your back on them there's a burden you kind of okay if you're if you're not going to be with me i would rather see you happy you know even not with me it's kind of burden to you now you separate from this person and i can see that this person's gonna now realize that without you in their life you know they're also having some trouble you know um you not on their side i can see that they're going to work hard you know for to prove that they are worthy of the second chance are you in this situation virgo because if you do let me know in the comment section if you have some questions with this reading or you have some personal questions there's a link in the description box if you want to book a personal reading there's also a link in the description box you might be connecting here with leo taurus pisces all of the elements are here i would gladly appreciate if you can click the subscribe button smash the like button comment down below love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading goodbye virgo